Jones. Jones. Summer away, summer away. Lord, show me. Jones. Summer away, summer away. Summer away, summer away. his words in his mouth, man. All right, so go back over here. Read that again. Verse 10. St. John, chapter 14. Believest that not that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not in myself. So Yahweh Shai never spoke his own words, man. Right. right. Stop trying to put Yahweh Shai against the Most High. Right. Stop trying to put Yahweh Shai against the apostles. Right? Yahweh Shai is speaking nothing no different than what his father told him. A lot of things you already heard before, from the beginning. Read. But the father that dwelleth in me, Read. he doeth the works. But the what? He doeth the works. So the Yahweh, Shai said, the Yahweh Shai didn't take no glory of himself. Everything he was doing, he gave all praises to the Most High. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's why he started off by saying, look, nobody can come to the Father but by me. I can go to the Father. Right. So he gave glory to the Most High. We give glory to the Most High by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, in the name of Yahweh Shah. Oh. Go ahead. Verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Go ahead. Verse 12. And he said, look, believe me for what you see. Right. Right? Just like the brother was just saying, man. Right. They, they, saw, they saw him doing it. He said, are y'all stupid? Right. Even if you don't believe the scriptures, obviously y'all don't believe the scriptures. You see what I'm saying? Y'all don't have no faith. So at least believe what your eyes see. Right. You see me doing all this. Where am I getting this from? He tell him, look, the Lord doing this. The Lord dealing with me. Go ahead. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. See that? And that, that's why everybody can't, ain't on that level, man. You see what I'm saying? He said, man, you, gonna, you had, how you think when you read the books of Acts, man? How you think the apostles got power, man? Right. They was casting out devils, man. Right. Healing people, man. Raising the sick, raising the dead. They was doing the same thing, man. And we're going to do these things again, man. Right. If it be the Lord's will. Maybe not us specifically, but there are men in the earth, all right, who has the faith and believe on that level, man. All right. Most high willing, you know, we, we are that number. Right. All right. But you're going to see these things again. Even if you're not the one doing it, you may be on the receiving end. Right. You see what I'm saying? He might be in damn Jacob's trouble, man. Right. And the brother damn jam up his leg. Right. All right? He come across Brother Gio. Brother Gio kind of lay hands on him by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Right. And we right. start to see miracles. We're right. going to see miracles in Jacob's trouble. Brother's going to get healed, man. You're going to see chariots, man, over you, man. All right, who knows, man? In the famine, the Lord said we're going to eat. He didn't right. say how. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto the Father. Verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. What the Lord say? And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. Read. That will I do. What the Lord say? That will I do. And the Lord said, whatever you ask in his name, that's what he's going to do, man. He's going to come through for you, man. And what are we asking for? We're asking for more faith. Right. All right. We're asking for more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. 
All right, we, we asking for salvation, man. Right. We asking for death and destruction to our enemies, man. Right. We not asking for carnal things. We asking for the things that God said he was going to do already. Right. Because those are the things that the righteous and the elect, that's what they want to see. Like, they don't want to get rich in this world. We're not asking for stupid stuff, man. Right. Things that are not going to profit you. We asking for the things that the Lord said the saints are going to ask for. Those are the things that he's going to do for you, man. Those are the things he's going to give you. Because what? The promises that was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are, this is your inheritance. These are things that was promised to you. Go ahead. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. That what? That, that the, the Father, Father may be glorified in the Son. Son. That the Most High, it's still about the Most High being glorified and exalted, may be glorified through his Son. Go ahead. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. What the Lord say? If ye shall ask anything in my name, I, I will, will do it. And the Lord said, if you ask anything in his name, that's why we do everything by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Right. No matter what it is, the Lord said he's going to do it. But he's only going to do it in the name of Yahweh Shai. Go ahead. If ye love me, keep my commandments. What the Lord say? If ye love me, keep my commandments. So who said that? Is that Yahweh Shai? No, the Most High said that. If you love Yahweh Shai, you love the Most High. And, and by default, you're going to keep the commandments. So the Bible is, is, is saying the same thing, man, like we always say. It's not that deep. It's not that hard. Yeah, there are deeper things in there, but it's not hard to understand the, what's playing upon tables. Right. All right, the goal of this thing was for the Israelites to be obedient to the Most High. All right, to get back in the good graces of the Most High so the Lord can go ahead and do what he said, man. Right. Go ahead. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Hey, the Lord, yeah, I wish I said he's going to pray for you, man. Right. He'll pray, he'll go to the Father and pray for you, man. You see what I'm saying? Give me um, Luke 22 and... Um, 31, I believe, is what I want. Go ahead. And he shall what? And he shall give you another comforter. And he shall give us another comforter. All right, read this real quick. And that's a beautiful thing, man. All right, for you to throw up prayers and brothers going off every day, making many mistakes, and Yahweh shall up there praying for you. Yahweh shall up there asking the Lord about to kill you, and Yahweh shall kind of step in that thing, man. How you got to kind of think of That's his job. That's his role now. All right? He's the, he's the, Middleman between right. us and the Most High. All right, go ahead. Book of Luke, chapter 22, and verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. And the Lord talking to all of us. You know, Satan had desired to have us, man. Satan don't want you in the truth. That's why brothers catching hell in their household. Right. It's always some every week that you got to go through, man, on a day to day basis, man. Whether it's financial problems, man, it may be health problems. Anything to get you out of the spirit, anything to shake your faith, to make you doubt, to make you tired of serving the Lord, to make you not want to read, to stop you from praying. All right. Go ahead. That he may sift you as wheat. That he may what? That he may sift you as wheat. That he may do what? That he may sift you as wheat. That he may sift you as you going through the damn week, man, and they kind of sift through the week, man. That's Satan, man. He going through different brothers. He just came in the truth. His, his faith ain't that strong. He really still love that weed. That's Satan, man. Right. He, he really still love big booty hoes, right? A lot of brothers still really love the world. They really don't like things. They're just kind of doing it just because they, their spirit kind of convicted. But they really, they, they, this is really not their thing. Right. Their mind's still really in the world. That's, those are the men Satan coming for, man. Right. He going to sift you out like sifting wheat, man. See, I wish I warning us of this. That's why we that second comfort. We need help. We right. can't do it by ourselves, man. We don't got it like that. Right. Go ahead. But I have prayed for thee. What the Lord say? But, but I, I have prayed, prayed for thee. Again, the Lord said he had prayed for us, man. Right. That's a beautiful thing. He already died for you. What more can we ask for? Now he praying for you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead. And, and that's why he said if you ask anything in my name. Imagine Yahweh Shah praying for you. Right. Is the Lord going to grant Yahweh Shah what he asked for? Uh, right. He's going to give him whatever he asked for. Uh -huh. Like you got a son, man. And he did everything you said. He make all A's. Yeah, I wish I didn't commit no sin. Right. Yeah, I wish I finished it. He didn't do it until the end. All right? He did it. His job was well done, man. What, what are they doing? They What's going on with them? Huh? He's in this car right here? See that? We're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Right. It's been a minute, man. They say, well, you know. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Read that again. But I have prayed. Read it from the top. 
Khan, verse 31. And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Uh -huh. But I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. That what? That, that thy faith, faith fail, fail not. That thy faith fail not, man. All right, so this thing, your, your faith can't fail, man. Like right now, the, the, the damn police back again. Your faith can't fail, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. You, you can rest right there. Go back over here. Verse 16. Go ahead. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Verse 17. Even the spirit of truth. Even what? Even, even the, the spirit, spirit of truth. truth. That's what we, even the spirit of truth, man. That's a spirit, man. That's why a lot, everybody can have this Bible and, and not have, know the truth. Right? right? Give me uh, 1 Timothy 3 and 7 real quick. That's, these things are important. And all, we receive all this because Yahweh Shah, man. All right, so Yahweh Shah, I mean, the Most High Yahweh is worthy to be, be praised. Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right, bring that out. 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 7. Moreover, he must have a good report. Uh, so like this, uh, 2 Timothy. John. 2 Timothy. I think I did that last. I do that every time. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. What the Lord say? Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So a lot of people are ever learning. You got a lot of brilliant people, man. They got books stacked up, man. Right? They got the Bible, man. They might be a pastor. They ever learned it. A lot of pastors, man, they've been reading the Bible longer than you, brothers. Right. And a little bit that we know, because we only know a little bit, we, we operating on a very low level. You know, you got a lot of brothers, man. The most I may give them more. But the little bit that we have, which is the spirit of truth, this truth, knowing you're an Israelite, knowing you got to keep the commandments, knowing who you are, knowing the judgment and understanding what the Most High is getting ready to do on the earth, knowing the time you're living in, right. knowing you're living in the light, understanding a little bit of prophecy. Right. You see what I'm saying? But some are ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Meaning what? It don't matter how much you read. It don't matter how much degrees you got, how much school you go to, man. They are never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Right. The Lord has to do it. The Lord has to send you that comfort. The Lord has to put the spirit on you, man. So it's a blessing to know this. It's a blessing right. to go through this, man. Go ahead. Verse 17. Even the spirit of truth, mm -hmm. whom the world cannot receive. Whom what? Whom, whom the, the world, world cannot receive. So the Lord said the world, the world can't receive this, man. All right? The world can't receive it. And what world is he talking about? It's talking about the other nations, man. It's talking about the two-thirds of our people. You see what I'm saying? Because why? Our people love the world. The right. Lord said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Right. You see what I'm saying? We are not of this world, man. Go ahead. Because it seeth him not. Because what? Because, because it, it seeth, seeth him not. Because they don't believe in Yahweh Shah. They didn't believe in Yahweh Shah in their past life. See, a lot of people walking this earth right now, we trying to figure out why they can't get it, and they rejected the Lord then. So now in this life, the Lord got angels blocking them. So a lot of people can make, I got, I got a, um, a boy I came up with. He get it. He understand plainly. Everything makes sense to him, right? But he, he don't get, after all that, but how we know who wrote that? Brother, you just, brother, you just said you agree with everything right. that has happened. Yo, but how you know it could have been a coincidence? See, that's, that's, <laughs> that's not being able to understand. I can't do nothing for that brother. It's of the Lord, man. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. But what? But, but ye know, know him. See, everybody don't know Yahweh Shai, man. Right. But we know Yahweh Shai, man. Uh -huh. And we willing to die for Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. For he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Go ahead. Verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. What the Lord say? I will not leave you comfortless. And the Lord said he's not going to leave us comfortless, man. Right. Right? Go ahead. I will come to you yet a little while, and the world seeth no more, but ye see me. because Like, I... like right now, the world is in darkness, man. Right. All right, but we've come into the light. We are literally the children of the light, man. Right. Right? We the children of the light, man, because we the only people on the earth that at least try to keep the commandments. Right. Right. That acknowledge our sins and confess our sins. Right. You see what I'm saying? The rest of the world, they can't even see it. Man. They can't see it, man. They don't know what you got a brother right there. He's an Israelite. We out here for him. Right. But he can't see it. All he knows is I got to do my job. Right. You see what I'm saying? He's been programmed and they've in, damn infiltrated his mind to making him think we the bad guys. Right. right? But all we doing is reading the Bible. Right. Right? That's all we're doing is reading the Bible. Right. Even if you don't agree to with the way we're reading it or what we're saying, we're just reading a book. 
We don't hurt. We don't got no weapons. Right. We're not hurting nobody. Just letting you know this truth is deadly, man. Right. This truth, this word is a weapon, man. Right. Go ahead. Because I live, ye shall live also. Because Yahweh shall live. When he rose again, hey, that's our life, man. We're going to live also, man. All right, even if they come kill us, we still going to live, man. Right. All right, go ahead. Tom, verse 23. Yahweh shall answered and said unto him, If a man loveth me, he will keep my word. And see, that's what we have. These are questions we have to ask. Out when you read scriptures like that, you got to kind of stop reading and ask yourself. You got to ask yourself these questions. Right. The Lord said, "If a man loveth me, read." And my father will love him. See that? The Lord said, "If you love Yahweh Shah, so you got to love Yahweh. You can't, you can't disclose Yahweh Shah. Right. So we got. That's why we're gonna. We got to start talking more about Yahweh. Start teaching Yahweh Shah more. Right. All right. T teaching our Savior more, man. All right. Because guess what? If you keep the commandments in the name, because that's the only way you can do it anyway, in the name of y'all. A lot of these Old Testament, only that don't believe in Yahweh, they're not keeping the commandments. Right. They smoking weed. They bugged out, man. They, they, they in all type of idolatry. Right. You see what I'm saying? Only through Yahweh Shah you can truly keep the commandments in sincerity and in truth. All right? Then the Father's going to love you, man. Because we know the Lord don't love everybody, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And we will come unto him. And make our abode with him. Make our what? Abode. Make our abode with him. Make our. This is important. Make our what? Make our, our abode, abode with him. What is that? What does that mean? Abode. That's that's the house. Imagine that. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah coming and living with you, man? Dwelling with you, being amongst you on a daily, man. Right. The Lord said He's going to come in unto you and make His abode with you. He said, "We read that part again." Con, and we will come unto Him. And make our abode with him. The Lord is going to come by Shem Yahweh Shai and abide and live with you, man. Make his house with you. Imagine being at the crib with the Lord. You're eating dinner with the Lord, man. Right. That's why certain brothers, they studying, man. You know what I'm saying? The most high dealing with them. The Lord is literally living with these men. And he's feeding at the table, man. He's literally feeding the sheep and building brothers up. He's building brother Jonathan up through the spirit, man. Right. All right. That's why certain brothers, you're like, how brothers remember the precepts? How the Lord? The Lord has been living with them, man. Right. And giving it to them. They can't do it on their own, man. Uh -huh. All right, brothers was horrible in school. Man. Right. Right, brothers? <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit of the Lord, man. All right, going into that's the spirit of truth. Go ahead. He that loveth me not keepeth my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not read, mine. Read that part again. Con. He that loveth me not keepeth my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. See that he's saying it again, man. He's not taking credit for nothing, man. Right. So people got to stop lying on Yahweh Shah, man. Right. Everything he's saying, he's speaking, thus said the Lord, man. All right? Whatever the fault he learned from the Most High, he's giving it to the children of Israel, man. Right. Go ahead. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. Mm -hmm. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Now, now, here's the spirit of truth now. That, that comfort he was talking about that we just read about, that's the Holy Spirit, man. That's our comfort. Go ahead. Give me, give me uh, Romans uh, 15 and 4. Go ahead. Whom the Father will send in my name. Who the Father is going to send by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Read. He shall teach you all things. Uh-huh. And bring all things. Salakia. To your remembrance. Why is he talking to them like this? Right. They knew this before, but he was speaking and they knew it then. Right. The script. Read this real quick. Cons, Book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse four. Bring it out. For whatsoever things were written aforetime. What are the things that are written aforetime? Talking about the scriptures. When they talk about the scriptures in here, it's not talking about the New Testament. The New Testament is not the scripture, right. but it is because it's thus said the Lord. But they didn't have the New Testament during that time. You see what I'm saying? Watch out. Yeah, he all right. All right, he can walk through there. They didn't have the, the um, New Testament during this time. It was still being written and recorded. All they had was the law, right, and the prophets, man. Right. Right, and the Psalms. Go ahead. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Well, what? Were written for our learning. Were written for our learning. But there are a lot of things that are written that, uh, give me, um, Andrew, give me, um, Isaiah 29. Go ahead. That we through patience. Do what? That we through patience. That we through patience. Because what we got to do, we got to endure. 
You take a lot of patience in this thing. But you don't just come in this thing and now you now you just mighty and now you just the damn robot. Right. No, you gotta have patience in this thing, man. You gotta have even more patience when you're in the truth. That's how y'all was y'all telling you, man. You gotta have more patience now, right? And you get that, you get that help from the comforter. We learn patience in the scriptures. We didn't learn that growing up in the household. Right. All right? We, we, didn't, we didn't learn these things growing up, man. Right. right? We learned the opposite, man. We learned how not to control your anger, man. Right. What We grew up seeing madness, man. So now brothers got anger issues. Brothers can't control their temper. Right. Brothers got all type of, um, you know what I mean? All these curses that's upon our people, man. We have to deal with these things now. But the scripture, all right, which is a spirit that's on the word of God, teaches you these things, man. All right, read that real quick, Andrew. Um, uh, nine. But God said, chapter 29, verse 9. Bring it up. This, this is why we were going to need the Holy Spirit. Read that. Stay yourself and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. See that? The Lord has put a spirit on our people, man, because of our sins. Right. All right, and our iniquity and our sins didn't end just because the Lord died, rose again, all right, and went back into the third heavens. All right, now you just say you believe, now that spirit is just gone. No, that's why he prophesied about 70 AD. That's why you had Israelites going into slavery on ships in the 1900s. Right. This was after all this. That's why you had in the book of Acts, you had men asking the Lord, will thou at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? Right. They were still looking for the kingdom because his work, it wasn't done yet. He only came to do the things that prophesied about his suffering. All right. That's still many things. And we were going to need help while we're in the midst of our enemies. While you're in this wicked world, man, that Satan's ruling, right. sin at every corner, man. We need help, man. All right. We needed to be taught knowledge, wisdom and understanding because we were going to lose it. The Lord was going to put a spirit of deep sleep on our people. Right. All right. There was the next generation came. Uh, they knew they was Israelites, man, in 70 AD. Right. But in 1916, 2021, we don't know who we are no more. Right. You see what I'm saying? So guess what? Those men that he's talking to are going to be back in the earth. And Yahweh is saying, look, I'm going to help you. And you're going to find your comfort in the scriptures. Go ahead. God. Verse 10. For the Lord has poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers. Now, and we can understand that now clear. It makes sense, right? right. We can see clearly that the Lord put us in a deep sleep. Right. He didn't have to say deep sleep. Like we, we knocked right. out cold. The Lord right, put a right. spirit of deep sleep on us, man. We was all asleep before. Right. Right? Go ahead. Nah. Nah. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, has he covered. And how is he going to do that? Man, you may be learning from a learned man. You may have a man over you that's supposed to be smart and that's supposed to know this Bible. But the Lord said he, he, he put them in the sleep too. So what they're feeding you and teaching you, guess what? It ain't the truth. Right. That's not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not on those men. You see what I'm saying? Because then they would be able to show you these secrets and mysteries. They would be able to make it plain upon table, man. Right. All right. But the elect, we always immediately run away from that, man. All right, like a lot of us, we always, it's many, it's not just Christianity, but that's the number one. A lot of us, you know, children of the slave trade, we come up in Christianity. And a lot of us, man, we never received that, that spirit. That's another spirit in those churches, man. We rejected that, man. A lot of men, we, we don't uh, subscribe, it don't make sense to us. We deal with practical knowledge, all right, practicality. We may be off as hell, but certain things we just ain't gonna believe. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like in the Christian church, a lot of men, they only just in there because of the women right. or because of their wife. It, the church is full of women, man. Right. That's their thing, man. You see what I'm saying? Because the Lord put a certain spirit on them, man. It's a certain spirit in the Christian church, man. It's a certain spirit on our sisters. It's another certain spirit on us. Right. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. So just because you have a learned man over you, remember the Lord rules in the, in the, in the hearts of men. So the Lord have men teaching people, and he can have a million followers. Right. That don't mean it's the truth. Right. Go ahead. John, verse 11. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. That is what? That is sealed. Now, these words in this book, the Bible is sealed. So what is a seal? 
Like you damn, like you damn, get that drink and it got the seal on the top of it, man. Right. I done did that before. I done top it out of, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's sealed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to break the seal. Right. All right? The Bible is sealed. If nobody break the seal, you can't get it. You can read the whole book, man, two times and still not understand it's for the Israelites. Right. All right? You don't know how many times you read, and the Lord said unto the children of Israel. You think it's talking about you? Yeah. And you think it's talking about everybody. Right. All right? Go ahead. John. And the vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, "Read this, I pray thee." And he says, "I cannot, for it is seen." And this is this has happened for centuries and decades. Right. All right. Hey, this happened amongst the, 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 our enemies, man. And they got they kind of got the top people, and they passing the book around. Everybody kind of opening up and trying to, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you got anybody's breaking down the last days? Hey, that right. sight that we um in times headlines. Yeah. That's the Edomites, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the yeah. God. So they kind of, you know what I mean? They kind of, but the Most High kind of got them in the, in the, you know, jammed up because they, they don't understand that this, this they just, yeah. they think they got a way out, man. Right, right. But we using it, you know what I mean, for on a different level, a different purpose. Right. You know what I mean? The Most High set up these different devices so we can watch and see the signs, man. Because we're not in, in position, man. Read that. God, verse twelve, and the book is delivered to him that is not learned. Say, read this. I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as... Yeah, yeah. Wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as his people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me. See that, man? So the Lord not dealing with what you're talking about. You know? You remove your mind from the Most High, man. You see that? So the Lord say, look, now read this one more time. All right, so just because you got a, a book and got the Bible, you know what I'm saying? That doesn't mean that you know what time it is. That doesn't mean you know what's going on. All right, so read that. For Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. Read it it. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So, and it's a cut in the New Testament. For them to try to tell you that nothing else that the Lord said or did matter now. It's all about Jesus. You see what I'm saying? Whatsoever things were written aforetime are important. They were written for your learning. This is how you learn. This is how you understand these things you're trying to understand that you're wrestling with. You have to understand the things that was already recorded in the history. Go ahead. That we through patience uh -huh. and comfort of the scriptures. And what? And comfort of the scriptures. And comfort of the scriptures, man. That comforter. We get comfort in the word of God, man. Right. All right, go ahead. Might have hope. Might what? Might have hope. Because this is where our hope is. This is where you read about what happened to us in slavery. This is where you read about why it happened to us. This is where you read about how do we get out of this. This is where you read about justice, man. Real justice, man. It's in here. So this is where our hope is. I hope it's not here. We can't put no hope in this, man, in these people, man. Right. When they plotting against you 24-7, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? All right, now come back over here. Read that again. The book of St. John, chapter 14, you know, verse 26. John, seven, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. See that, man? That's the beauty, man. Yahweh Shah said he wasn't going to leave us comfortless, but he was going to send that spirit of truth and give it back to us, man. That's how we can understand the Bible now, man. The Lord is doing that. The Lord, the Holy Spirit is on this, brother, and his spirit is hopping on this, brother. He's teaching this, brother, and this is the spirit of the truth flowing, man, through the precepts, through the word of the Most High, man. All right? Give me, uh, read this real quick. Book of John, chapter 7 you and got verse what I 16. You feel? Yeah. All right. Yeah, how wish I answered them and said, my doctrine is not mine. What the Lord say? My doctrine is not mine. Hey, how wish I said his doctrine is not his, man. All right, where he get the doctrine from? How is pastor going to say that we follow Jesus' doctrine, but he's saying he don't got no doctrine? Right. You see, them? That's, that's confusion. That's where the confusion comes in, man. Go ahead. But his that sent me. Who sent him? We read about the Lord sending, raising up a prophet. Moses told you that. He was talking about Yahweh Shah. Give me, get John 5 and 45 real quick. Hold on. Give me John 5 and 45. So all these things link up, man. All right. But see, they don't link up the precepts, man. 
Whatever they at, they just read that and they just kind of give you their own understanding of it. And they some kind of way flip it to make you feel good, to make you go in your pocket and pay pastor, man. Right. Pastor's a hustler, man. Right. That's all it is. These Christian pastors, Christianity is a business, man. Right. They hustlers. They pimps. They modern day pimps, man. All right, go ahead. It's, book of Saint John. it's like a damn a drug dealer going going clean. Look, I guess they got what they needed. Right. Right. Go ahead. The book of Saint John, chapter five and verse forty-five. Yeah. Come on. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you. Right. Even Moses, in whom ye trust. Right, because they claim to believe. Even in this time, they claim to believe in Moses. Go ahead. Verse forty-six. For had ye believed Moses... And, and a lot of these Christians, they used to believe in Moses. Right. They didn't believe in Jesus, man. They only believe in Jesus because they gave him this. Right. All right. These, these so-called Christians, they don't keep the law. You see what I'm saying? They don't believe in Yahweh Shai. They believe in this guy, Caesar right. Borges. Right. You see what I'm saying? So these, these Christians are the Pharisees, really. They reject, they reject Yahweh Shai. Right. Because they take his words and twist it. You see what I'm saying? They, they used to be believing in Moses, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 46. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. He said you would have believed me. Right. Go ahead. For he wrote me. Because he, read again. For he wrote of me. Because he wrote of Yahweh Shah. You right. read about, yeah, Moses spoke about Yahweh Shah. All the way back in Deuteronomy. Right. We just read that. Go ahead. Verse 47. But if ye believe not in his writings, how shall ye believe my word? So look, he, he flipped it. He said, look, you don't believe Moses, right? If you were to believe Moses, then you would believe me because he spoke on him. Right. Then he said, read that last part again. Verse 47, how shall ye believe my and word? And how can you say you believe in, in, the, in the word of, of Yahusha or the word of Christ? Read. After these things, Yahweh went over the sea. Now read up, read that again. Uh, verse 47. 46. Verse 46. For had ye believed Moses, uh -huh. ye would have believed me. Right. For he wrote of me. Uh huh. But if ye believe not his writings. So if, and now they don't believe his writings no more. Now they say that's the Old Testament. Right. But Yahweh shall say, even if you don't believe his writings, read. How shall ye Believe my word. And they can't believe on Yahweh Shah. They can't. That's how they can't understand the Bible. Right. It's impossible. The Lord tell you it's impossible for you to open up this book and understand it, man. Go ahead. You can rest. You can rest right there. Go ahead. Read that again. Yeah, 16. John 7, 16. Read that again. And then give me Ephesians uh, 2 and 20. You got that? Second Peter? All right, come. All right. So Yahweh Shah is everything, man. You got a question, King? Yeah, yeah. Nah, man, I, I okay, I'll uh, praise the most high, man. What's your name, bro? Mike. Mike, brother Jonathan, man. Nice to meet you, King. Yeah, I'll praise, I'll praise, man. What tribe you from? Okay, Ephraim, man. Ephraim in the house, man. I'll praise to the most high, man. Ephraim in the house, man. Okay, okay. Con, con, I'll praise to the most high, man. That's a beautiful thing, man. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Book of John, chapter 7 and verse 16. Bring it up. Yahweh Shah answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. So, so, uh, Gio, what's the, what's the doctrine? Because Yahweh Shah didn't, you know what I'm saying? Law. Huh? Law. Yeah, man. Ah, That's right. the doctrine. So, was Yahweh Shah teaching the law? Yahweh Shah was teaching the law, man. Get Proverbs 4 and 2, man. Get Proverbs 4 and 2. So Yahweh Shah was teaching the law, man. So Yahweh Shah came and spoke, thus said the Lord. The law is thus said the Lord. Right. The law is literally what the Lord told Moses to tell us. Right. Right? When did the Lord change? Read that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 4 and verse 2. Bring it out. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. Do what? Forsake ye, ye not my, my law. So that's the doctrine. The doctrine is good too, man. It's good to stop killing. If if we was taught the doctrine of the Lord, the true doctrine, man, and it wouldn't be no gangs. Right. You see them? Because all gangs do. It's you, you know what's crazy about these gang bangers? They don't gang bang on the white man. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? 
The, it, all it is, man, is, is niggas killing niggas. Man. Right. Yeah. Right. That's that's that was that's a setup. Right. That's that deep sleep, man. How you in the gang? You got <laughs> you everybody. We all in the hood. Right. You know what I'm saying? We all got the same. We got the same enemy. Right. Same man oppressing you. All right. You got three three streets over here is one gang, and three streets over here is another gang. You see what I'm saying? The same enemy, man. Right. But you'll go over here and shoot up that whole block, man, of your own people. That the so-called white man can come in and damn shoot your brother in the back of the head. And you'll forgive him. And you'll forgive him. You kind of act. No, I'm talking about the gangsters. They kind of act like they. We, I've never seen a gangster come out, you know what I'm saying? And all the, all the thugs kind of come out. They kind of line up. And they kind of go ride on the that, that Go pull up on that police house. Right. All right? They don't do that, man. Right. You see, they scared. You see what I'm saying? See, we we scared when it comes to the real enemy, but when it comes to us, man, we ready to throw down on our people, man. Right. Why? Because we lack wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We without the law. You see what I'm saying? That's the doctrine. The, the law says love your brother as yourself, man. Right. All right, get, get Leviticus real quick. Hey, did you know it's a sin to watch your brother die? And if somebody come up right now, and we keep the law now. We, we understand it. So, but them police, if one of them police would have came over here and put a gun in his head, they're going to have to kill all of us, man. We're not like them, them niggas in the world that act tough, man. We keep the commandments in righteousness, man. Hey, the, hey, the Lord died for us, man. Like all a right. straight G, man. You know what I'm saying? Read that. Book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 16. Bring it out. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. And we got that bad too, man. We always run in our mouth, man. You always got to go tell what you know about this brother to somebody else, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? I don't got to go tell Brother Zoe everything I know about Brother Jonathan. Right. That's being the damn tail bearer, man. That's effeminate, man. Uh, uh, the Lord don't like that, man. Right. And Christians, they that's that's how they get down, man. That's right. their M.O., man. Right? Go ahead. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. Neither what? Neither, Neither shalt shall thou stand, stand against, against the blood, blood of thy neighbor. neighbor. That's what Yahweh wish I was teaching. You're not supposed to stand against the blood of your neighbor, man. Right. All right, if you watch your brother kind of get jammed up and you kind of, you was pulling up on him and you kind of seeing and you kind of hop back in the whip. Right. You know what I'm saying? You weak as hell, you scared. You, hey, that's a, that's a, in the world you call that a bitch ass move, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you don't want no brother like that around you, man. Right. You're not supposed to stand. That's a law. The Lord said, don't stand against the blood of your people, man. So anybody, Christian, come out with well, the Lord just said, uh, forget. No, man, why you don't go get revenge, man? Right. Read the Maccabees. Hey, it's the, we in the time of the Feast of Dedication. Everybody right. reading the Maccabees, right? Right. Ah. Everybody reading Mac, first Maccabees, right. man. General, man. Hey, Levi, listen, man. <laughs> Judas, Judas Maccabees is one of the mightiest men. And hey, that's my favorite book, man. Right. Maccabees, man. You see what I'm saying? Hey, they brothers, hey, they went to go get their brothers, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Jake not in that spirit no more, man. Right. The, the white man can come take your children now, man. Can literally come take your children. You don't know where they went, and you sitting there crying. And Jake just, he done, he done so castrated. Right. You know what I'm saying? He don't got no pride no more. He will just sit there and just, now that your happen. woman looking at you. Let it happen. Yeah. Nigga, you ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Because somebody called, somebody picked up the phone, might be a relative. We've seen this happen. Right. Called DPS, or what was it called? CPS. 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 They called down CPS and said they ain't feeding the kids over there. Right. I seen the baby in the like, like stomach touching his back. And they come grab the damn kids up, man. You see what I'm saying? Right. These things happen, man. Hey, let somebody come to try to take my kid, man. Right. Or help with me. All right. How you doing, Elder? You got a couple minutes in the work? Yeah, he cool. He's a, that boy was so smooth, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so go back to that. Uh, Verse 17. Yeah, yeah, read that. Thou shalt not hate thy neighbor in thine heart. Uh-huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor mm -hmm. and not suffer sin upon him. So you're supposed to, we're supposed to correct. This is what Yahweh was teaching. We're supposed to correct each other and don't allow your brother to be in sin, man. Right. All right, that's love. If you hate your brother... That, that you scared to rebuke him, man. You scared to tell your boy he's going to hell off, man. That's off. Right. Go ahead. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. See that? That's the problem. If we was taught that, then we're not supposed to hold grudges against each other. You see what I'm saying? To the point where you gotta kill a nigga. Right. 
You see what I'm saying? That, we don't teach us that. They threw away the law, though. But these are things in the commandments. You got a question? No. Now you can go, Bob. Go ahead. Are you, are, you, are you an agent? You got a wire? You sure? Who sent you up here? Be honest. You want to ask us what we do? I want to see what you guys do. You say you see us all the time. What do you see us doing? All these guys on this, this road. We teach the Bible. Yeah. You love the Bible? Yeah. What do you love about the Bible? I need to learn a lot. You need to learn a lot? Yeah. What's your nationality? What's your ethnicity? Nationality? Yeah, what's your ethnicity? Christian. That's our religion. What's your race? I'm white. You white? Yeah. What color is that piece that's hanging on your shoulders or your jacket? Look on your jacket. Interior. What color is that? White. Are you that color? Yeah. No, you're not. You're not white. Where are the white people in the Bible? Did the Lord create you? The Lord created you? The Most High? I don't know. I thought you, you loved the Bible. No, the Lord created everybody, right? Yeah. So what do you read about white people in the Bible? No. Are you drunk? No. Not. All right, let me all right, let me let me try your spirit then. All right. Now we got some images up here, right? No, no, no. Ain't no 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 no. Right. We got some images. We got some images up here, some posters. Right? No, this is real talk That's right here. Right. How do you feel? Look at these pictures and tell me how do you feel? What do you think? What do you think about when you see these images? All right. Yeah, get a good look. Look at that. You feel sad? Yeah. Cry then. Let me see you cry. Don't you cry when you sad? I'm crying today. You crying today? Yeah. What do you feel about this? Listen, we, let's deal with this. What happened to these people? What do you see happening right here? You're a neurosurgeon, so you're an intelligent man, yeah. right? So look at these images and describe what you see. What is going on here? So bring it down. No, we're going to keep it where it's at. Right. This is not slavery. You're not running nothing. Right. So I'm asking you a question. You came up, you want to know what we're doing, right? Okay. Yeah. So describe what you see. What is happening on these images? What's happening on these images? Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. All right? You knew we was filming when we came up here. All right? And you're an Edomite, and you're going into slavery. All right? And that's what you came up here to record us say. And we're going to say it, because the Lord said it, man. Book of Read Proverbs, that. chapter 28, verse 1. The and wind see, flee. see, look, we ain't got to say too much. He can't deal with that, man. Right. See, we want to talk about something else, man. Break it down, break it down. Yeah, bring it down. No, we're not we're going to keep it where it's at, man. Right. All right, we're not your slaves, but you're not running the damn thing up here, man. Right. Go ahead. The wicked flee when no man pursues. Nobody was pursuing this, man. And see, you got to watch these devils, man. They come up humble. You know right. what I'm saying? And that's something that you got a Christian might see that. Why y'all do him like that? Right. Y'all so mean and so aggressive, man. No, he not, man. Ask that man a simple question, man. Right. And he couldn't do it, man. So the wicked are going to always flee, read. But the righteous are bold as a lion. That the righteous are bold as lions, man. Con. All right? Now go back to where we was at, man. Where we was rudely interrupted by Satan, man. All right? No, they ain't going nowhere. They're just parking this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Give me, give me, give me Acts chapter uh, 5 and 39, man. This is what they don't understand, man. Give me Acts 5 and 39. I thought they, they learned, they figured it out by now. Are we some different, dude? We, we not the gangsters. All right, and then they're, they're going to run off the block when the police come. You know, when the police pull up, Jake kind of <laughs> move around, man. And that's how we used to be in the world, man. I used to be, pull up, man. Hey, you see one police car. Hey, I used to be on my way home, man, and police get behind me. I just, I go all the way around the other way. <laughs> my crib right there. I'm like, this ain't all of me home, man. I go all the way around, go out my way, man. Right. Hey, we're not doing that no more, man. You got to bring that out. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 39. Bring it out. But if it be of Yahweh, 
ye cannot overthrow it. What the Lord say? But if it be of Yahweh, ye cannot overthrow it. See, they want to overthrow it. They tried everything. They put the damn gate up. Right. All right? They done arrested us, man. They done gave us fines, man. They right. say you can't use the mic. They say we can't use our tent. They say you niggas too loud without the mic. Right. Right? All right, we still here though. Right. And they don't under because we done de devalued the damn building. Right. All praise to the Lord. Right. They say they, they call they, they call it down the city of Orlando. They say these niggas, y'all gotta do something with these niggas, man. Right. All right. Nobody, everybody moving out. They, they throwing down ice and eggs. That didn't work, man. Right. All right. If you be on the most high, you can't overthrow it, man. Right. This is for the, this is of the most high, man. And the Lord got us out here, man. And right. you can't move us until the Lord say so, man. Right. If we move, we decided to move, That's man. Right. All right, go ahead. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh. That's what they don't understand. They think they fighting against. We don't got no weapons. Right. What's stopping them from rolling up? They can bring the damn SWAT team. They can come out here. They got all type. But we can't get down with the white man with his, his uh, weaponry, man. Right. All right. You see what I'm saying? No, they fighting against the Lord, man. That's right. Give me Psalms 34 and 7. Go ahead. Verse 40. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they were commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai. See, this is the problem. See, we can speak in the name of sweet Jesus. Uh -huh. If we was regular Christians, man, it wouldn't be a problem. They might have a little crowd out here, man. And they might come out here and, and be our security, man, and protect us, man. I be seeing the little police cars at the churches. They, right. they park the police. The police get out. The police. Yeah. <laughs> See, these for them. Right. See, the, 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 the world don't hate you. you it's a problem. Uh, right. You see that? But they was beaten. See, our forefathers was real. Was some real. You know what I'm saying? Right. They wasn't no softies, man. Right. And they was beaten, man. They was still bold for the Lord, man. Right. And they didn't tuck their tail and run, man. And why did they beat them? Read that part again. Verse 40. And to him they agreed. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh. And they say you can't speak by Shem Yahweh man. That's right. All right? They're going to do that again to us, man. Right. But they can't do it until we wake up the elect, man. Right. They can't do it until this brother put his fringes on and come get with his brothers, man, that's and join right. the army of the Lord. Now, that's what the Lord is waiting on. Right. All the elect, the Lord has to wake up all his people. All the prophecies got to come to pass. And then they can come get us. But right. by that time, we're going to be ready, man. Ah. We're going to be ready to die for the Lord, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. And let them go. Verse 41. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. See that, man? So they was... Hey, brother, come hear the word, man. Too strong. Read that part again, man. Verse 41. And that's what they love to see right there, man. They love to see our, pe our people smoking cigarettes, talking to themselves. Destroyed. Destroyed. All right? And they hate niggas like us, man. Right. All right, read that. And they departed from the presence of the council. Uh-huh. Rejoicing. Doing what? Rejoicing. rejoicing. And they just got beat. They rejoicing, man. Right. Read. That they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. See that, man? They was, they was rejoicing that they was counted worthy, man. Because the Lord could have used somebody else, man. Right. The Lord chose you men to understand this. Everybody can't get this, man. Right. All right. The Lord say you worthy to have this truth, man. And some of us going to get beaten and put to death, man. Right. All right. We got to rejoice in that thing, man. Go ahead. And daily in the temple and in every house, they cease not to teach. They what? Hold on. They cease not, not to teach. teach. No, they said, all right, master, we're going to stop teaching the word. They cease not to teach. And they cease not to teach, man. Yeah, I know they told him. Hey, and go tell the damn Christians that say, oh, you're supposed, you supposed to be subject to the high power. Why they didn't listen to them? Right. Yeah, we, we do what we supposed to. We stop at the damn red light. We pay our rent. All right, we do what we got to do. We don't go out there and, you know, uh, go tr rob somebody and then tell the white man, I'm an Israelite. I'm over you. <laughs> no, the Lord put them over us. But when it comes to serving the Lord, you don't compromise. Right. You don't let nobody tell you to stop speaking thus at the Lord, man. All right, go ahead. And preach Hamashiach Yahawashai. Verse 6. You can, rest. you can rest right there. Bring that out. Book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 7. Read. Yeah. The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him. See that? We don't fear the white man no more. We fear the most high. And the Lord set up angels around us, man. That's why certain men, they bold, man. 
They don't care about that. We understand death now. We ain't scared to die no more. Right. Master can't tell us we're going to die and then a damn fire. We're going to burn forever because we didn't listen to him. Right. We don't believe you, man. Right. We know we, our spirit going to go back to the most high. And we're going to wait to see you in the next life, man. We're going to put a chain on your neck, man. Right. All right, so some of us, man, we're not afraid of death, man. Right. Go ahead. And, and, and a lot of, hey, Jake, you die. Jake die every day. Right. Jake die robbing somebody. You die sleeping with somebody's wife. You die, you stepping on somebody's new joys. He uh, damn kill his brother. Right. All right, you die for a lot. I'd rather die out here teaching the word of God to my people, man. And that's an honorable death, man. Uh, Go ahead. And deliver it them. Oh. And, and deliver it them, man. Right. And save them. You can rest right there, man. Uh, so these are the things. And, and where did they learn this? From Yahweh Shai, man. Right. They was in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Didn't the Holy Spirit come down on them in Acts the second chapter, man? Right. All right, that's that was Acts. Give me Acts 4 and 29. In the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 29, man. So we got to be in the spirit of our forf our righteous forefathers, man, in these last days, man. All right? We got to stand bold for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And for our people, man. Be an example for our nation, man. Go ahead. This is the book of Acts, chapter 4, and verse 29. And now, the most high, behold their threatenings. Do what? Behold, behold their threatenings. Behold their threatenings, read. And grant unto thy servants that with all boldness. That with what? That, that with, with all boldness. Now effeminate. That with all boldness. That with all boldness, man. Hey, we bold in the face of the enemy, man. Right. We bold. We'll give a damn. This is the military, the police, man. We bold. Our agents, all right, slithering amongst the body. Read. They may speak thy word. They may what? They may speak thy word. Hey, we're going to speak thus saith the Lord, man. And everybody got to deal with it, man. Right. All right. All right, so what I had you give me, uh, give me Ephesians two and twenty, man. So Yahweh shouts out everything, man. Where you at? Now hold that. Bring this out. This is the book of Ephesians chapter two and verse twenty. And we got to remember the Lord died for us, man. Are you willing to die for the Lord? Right. Give me, give um first, give me first John three. First John three and um uh fifteen, man. Hey, that's a part of this thing, man. We got to. You can't just talk about <coughs> God so loved the world. And keeping the commandments all day. Look right? at 1 John chapter 3 and verse 15. Go ahead. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. Right. And ye know that no murderer hath, hath eternal life and now abiding that, in him. So like you, and then you know that one, that one brother, he know us, man. Before all, when it was just me and this brother, and we used to be down there, that brother used to come up, man. He already know. He used to tell us before. They said, man, they just call him. I'm just coming up here because I got to just come. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he would reason with us. You see what I'm saying? But then when he got around the big dogs, the captain, the lieutenant, right. and all them came, yeah, he kind he switched up on us, bro. That's you hating your brother, man. You see what I'm saying? You it, Imagine being in the, that's why Jake got to get out the damn police force. Right. You got to get out the damn military. If You, you got to find a way to get out of that shit, right. man. Because you're going to be forced to be a coon, man. All right. Anytime you got the so-called white man's banner on you, you got that badge, you represent that badge. Then you got to represent that badge. It's going to be hard for you, man. Right. You see what I'm saying? I've been the damn, lost it. I've been to pull my fringes out under my damn right. unbuttoned, man. Right. I own the damn job, man. Right. Been to pull my gun out of, you know what I'm saying? I've been got in front of the cap, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't doing nothing wrong, man. Right. Hey, what law they broke, man? Right. You know what I'm saying? They really got fired, man. Right. Because it's a certain spirit that's on you, man. All right, read that again. Because I'm looking at this thing from another perspective now. Right. I'm not looking at this all for one and one for all no more. All right? I see my brother. That's my brother right there, oh, man. Right. And, and he know what's going on. Like that, that night they arrested Naquan. He was the man. He was sitting right there. He heard the so-called white man say, look, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you talk to him in a minute. Because I was trying to get information to relate to his wife. So we can see what we got to do get him out. So you was right there, right there. And he, he said, what? When we get done, we're going to let you talk to him, right? right? Jake, right there. So I get out. I go over there. He said, like, what you doing? You can't. He said, he just said. You know, you know what he said? He said, I changed my mind. I said, brother, you just hear him? You just heard him? He just said that, man. You see what I'm saying? Right in front of our face. And Jake said, hmm. And I start kind of talking to the brother. I'm like, brother, you know us, brother. What did we do wrong? I said, brother, what did we do wrong? He said, yeah, man. Why? Because he was in front of the so-called white man. All right. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. First John chapter three, verse fifteen. 
whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer. Mm -hmm. And ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Uh -huh. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. That's a part of this thing. Hey, the Lord died for us, man. Pray. Right. That's how we know he love us. All right? And you got to be willing to die for your brother, man. Right. You got to love your nation, man, like the Lord did. That's a part of this thing. And you and, and to die for to die for a brother, you know what I'm saying? He ain't talking about the brother in your house you grew up with. You know what I'm saying? Your baby sister, right. your mother, your father, right? He's talking about the men of your nation, man. Right. All right, these people on this side right here, the Israelites, man. Right? We risk our life to tell them the truth, man. The world's best kept secret, man. Hey, that's love, right? That's a sign of love and admiration. All right? They got a question? That's his call? He speak English? Find out. See if he speak English, Bob Kishaw. Go ahead. Verse Salakia. 17. For who for whoso hath this world's good. You can rest right there. Re give me that real quick. Read that. First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men. So some of us, just because they Israel, like the Lord said, not all Israel is Israel, which are of Israel. Some of our people wicked as hell, man. What do you say? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. In those days. Read, read again from the top. First Maccabees, chapter 1 and verse 11. In those days went there out of Israel wicked men. So you got wicked men amongst our people. Go ahead. Who persuaded many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen. See, some of our people do that. They go make a covenant with the enemy, with the heathen, right? Right. All right, they get him next to the damn white man. He might give him a good job. Right. He may feel it's something better him, man. And he'll turn against you, man, for his position. All right, that's all our forefathers did, man. Go ahead. That are round about us. Uh-huh. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. Go ahead. Verse 12. So this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Of the what? Of, of the, the heathen. heathen. He got a license. Then the Lord said, I've given no man license to sin. Right. They went and got a license to damn break the commandments. Went to the king, man. King Antiochus, nasty King Antiochus Epiphanes, man. The worst of the worst, man. Right. Right? Go ahead. Come. Give me 43. Verse 43. <clears throat> Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion. Like Christianity? Right. All right, a lot of our people consent to the religions of these nations, man. Right. That happened then, that happens today. Go ahead. And sacrificed unto idols. Like Thanksgiving Day? They about to sacrifice unto an idol when they celebrate Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. All right? Go ahead. And profane the Sabbath. And do what? And, and profane, profane the Sabbath. Sabbath. And they profaning the Sabbath right now, man. Right. All right? Jake, Jake getting ready for the classic, man. I hear them pull the whip out. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Profane in the Sabbath day, man. Read. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and to the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. That they should follow the strange laws of the land, man. Our people follow strange laws of the land, like homosexuality, man. Right. That's a strange law, man. Uh, the Lord is against that. Right. But the so-called white man has given you a license and said it's okay. All right, love everybody. I, I, it's, it's somebody that got fired. Um, no, it was a football player that got kicked off the football team for saying it's only two genders. Right. Well, it's only two genders. That's right. Right? Go ahead. Verse 45. And, for and that's a strange law, right? How you doing, brother? You believe in the Bible? Yes, sir. sir. You got to come into the words of the Lord? How you saved, brother? What, what happens to the word when you put the ED at the end of it? How you saved with a Christian cross idol on your neck? Right. That's idolatry, brother. Come learn, brother. Brother, you're not saved. You're breaking the Sabbath day. Right. See that, man? See, some of our people are saved already. Brother, don't you got to pay rent? Hey, didn't the Lord say there's going to be no more debt when we say no more pain? 
No more tears. Why are people still dying if we say? Right. See, they got a different salvation. You see what I'm saying? Hey, ain't the Northern Kingdom locked up in cages at the border? Uh, right. All right. And hey, they may believe in the Bible. They may believe in Jesus. Right? Are you gonna tell them they say? You gonna tell somebody they say why they ain't there? Little children in damn chains, separated from their families, man. That's madness, man. Go ahead, you bring it out, King. Jeremiah chapter eight, verse twenty. Bring it out. The harvest is past. Right. The summer is ended. Uh huh. And we are not saved. What the Lord say? And we are not saved. What the Lord say? And we are not saved. We not saved yet. Right. Right. We waiting for salvation. See, Christians are not waiting on salvation because they already saved. Then the Lord said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. This is the patience and the faith of the saints, man. They already saved for some reason. That's madness, man. Read that again. Verse 44. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, that they should follow the strange laws of the land. Verse 45. And forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple and that they shall profane the Sabbath and festival days. They should profane the what? The Sabbath and festival, festival days. days. Now they profane the Sabbath day and the feast days. Uh -huh. Now nobody's keeping the high holy days. Right. Nobody's going to keep the feast of dedication, but everybody's going to keep Thanksgiving. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said there's no new thing under the earth, man, under the heavens. Go ahead. Verse 46, and pollute the sanctuary and holy people. And what? And, and holy, holy people. people. And who's the holy people? The Israelites, man. Right. Our, our people have been polluted. Go ahead. Verse 47. Set up altars and groves and chapels of idols uh -huh. and sacrifices. And that's what all you see, these colleges, all you see is groves and chapels and idols, man. Right. Statues, man. These damn football teams, man. Right. All right. The classic. There's number of idolatry, man. Uh -huh. These sororities, these Greek, all right, customs, man. That's idolatry, man. Right. Go ahead, especially the Northern Kingdom, man. Go ahead, and damn the Catholics, they got the Northern Kingdom, the damn Latinos and Catholic. Ain't nothing but idolatry, man. Right. Crosses, man. Right. Yeah, I was scared. I went to a Catholic church. When, <laughs> I went to Catholic church. When I was, y'all was scared as hell. I was like, man, right. it's different. <laughs> yeah, Father Hands. <laughs> got these big things on the wall, man. What is that, man? And it's all white people just looking at you. Right. You know what I'm saying? They got. They got the little Mary up there. She's just looking at you the whole time. Right. I used to have nightmares about that damn white right. woman. Read that. And sacrifice swine's flesh uh -huh. and unclean beasts. And ain't they going to do that on Thanksgiving? They're going to take that big ham. They're going to gloss that ham up. Right. It's going to be, they're going to put the glaze on there, glaze on the honey glaze. Right. Yeah, they're going to put the damn pineapples on that thing. Right. They're going to make it look real good, man. All right, they're going to kind of dig into that thing, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 48 that they should also leave their children uncircumcised right. and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanliness and profanation. Go ahead. First hey, hey, brother, hey, brother, we out here for you. You got a couple minutes to chop it up with us? Give us two minutes. We want you to come through here, brother. That's why we out here. We out here for you. Brother, if you appreciate it, just give us two minutes. Are you a pastor? He look like pastor. He clean. <laughs> Are you a pastor, sir? Okay. All right. Yeah, he the deacon. You the deacon. <laughs> Go ahead. Verse 49. To the end that they might forget the law. Here's the point. That they might what? That they might, might forget, forget the law. law. Now we forgot the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Now we don't remember the commandments no more. Now we fighting. Brother tell you to stop eating pork. Now you want to body slam him. Right. Brother, tell you to love your brother, man. We need to the law of Christ. Right. All right? Tell you put your fringes on. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do it, man. You forgot. You used to well. Right. Go ahead. And change all the ordinances. Read. Verse 50. And whosoever would not do according to the commandments of the king, he said he should die. And that's why a lot of our people are afraid to die, man. Right. But that's a commandment, man, to lay down your life for your brother. Right? Because when you, when you sin, you sinning against the most high. And you are, and we all pay for that. When this brother go off, I'm paying for that. You see what I'm saying? You got to be a team player. Hey, the Lord didn't punish us one at a time. The Lord punished us as a nation of people. We all went into slavery. Right. 
All of us went into captivity. Right. We all under the curses, man. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 50. And who's Salakia? Verse 51. In the selfsame manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over the people, commanding the cities of Judah to sacrifice city by city. Verse 52. Then many of the people were gathered unto them to wit every one that forsook the law, and so they committed evils in the land. Verse 53, and drove the Israelites into secret places. Into what? Into, into secret, secret places. places. Go ahead. Even wheresoever they could flee for succor. And you got some of us, man, they had to get the hell out of them, man. Right. They would rather be, and that's finna happen again. All right, that's why we're going to be pilgrims in the earth. Right. And in Jacob's trouble, if you don't get down with this man program, you're not going to be able to eat, have no food. You're going to have to live on the, on the, on the edge right. like our forefathers. Right. And we're going to gladly do that. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. First 54. Hey, they, when they come with this one, one world government, everybody got to get down. Everybody get the damn shot, man. Right. Hey, you're not going to be included in this world. Right. Hey, we're not going to be out here no more teaching the world no more. No, the elect going to be sealed. Right by that time. And we're going to be pilgrims in the earth on the move, all right? Moving around. Right. That's what they did, man. They got the hell out of there because they were being forced to, to follow their ways and forsake the law or be put to death. So guess what? You have to get your family a fleet or you're going to have to get down with their program. Right. Go ahead. Con, verse 60. At which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised. So our women that were circumcising their children, they was killing the women, man. Right. And these, these same people that's walking around, these are the same people, man. Right. Back on the earth again. Right. All right, go ahead. Verse 61. And they hanged the infants. They did what? They, they hanged, hanged the infants. infants. What did they do? They, they hanged, hanged the infants. infants. Hold on. They was hanging our infants. Right. Right? They was literally taking your baby and hanging them, man. Read. This is how important keeping the commandments is. Just right. because they was keeping the commandments. Right? Just because they refused to eat pork. Right. Just because they refused to get down with their program. Right. Read. About their necks and rifled their houses and slew them that had circumcised them. Verse 62. Howbeit many in Israel were fully resolved and conferred in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. What? Not to what? Not to eat any, any unclean, unclean thing. thing. So you had certain, they didn't give a damn, man. Right. They didn't care what you did, man. Uh -huh. We're not going to eat none of these abominations, man. Right. Go ahead. Verse 63. Wherefore, they chose rather to die. They did what? They, they chose, chose rather, rather to die. die. What did they do? They, they chose, chose rather, rather to die. die. Who's willing to die for the Lord and stand up for the Lord, man? Not, not a lot. Right. Only a few. Only right. a small number, man. Go ahead that they might not be defiled with meats and that they might not profane the holy covenants. So then they died. So, hold on. So then they what? So then they died. Are you willing? Is that, is that you? Right. We got to talk about these things too. The Lord said all scripture was written right. for our learning because you're going to be in these situations again. Give me the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15. Go to chapter 2. Give me verse, uh, I want you to read 19, but hold on. Read that real quick. Book Ecclesiastes. Oh, you got it? You got it? Go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 33, verse 15. Bring it up. That which have been is now. Uh-huh. And that which is to be have already been. Uh-huh. And God required that which is past. What the Lord say? And God, God required that which is past. The Lord requires that which is past. You see what I'm saying? So these same things must happen again. Right. All right? All right, now read this. All right, bring it out. Verse 19. Then Metatius answered and spake with a loud voice. Though all the nations that are under the king's dominion obey him and fall away, everyone from the religion of their fathers. So a lot, he said, though everybody else leaving the religion of their fathers and following the ways of this damn wicked Antiochus Epiphanes. All right, and they weren't just Israelites. You had other nations that was a subject under these Greeks. All right, they left there. Every nation got their own heritage. Ain't that the same thing that happened today? Right. Ain't the, didn't the China man take off his army? They, now, don't the China man got on a suit and tie now? Right. right? Ain't the, hey, you got China man. I, I do residential, man. You got Chinese names on the damn uh, lots. 
of these houses, man. The China man in America is now the damn rent man, too. You see that? The East Indian man. Hey, you got East Indians Christians now. You know what I'm saying? You got damn Arabs in the Christian church. They all put that suit and tie on now because the so-called white man has made the nations drunk. That's the same thing happened then. That's what they're trying to do again. Before they had a one world government, all people were forced to follow the same religion. All people were forced to do everything that they said. All right? Read that again from the top, 19. Con. Then Mattathias answered and spake with a loud voice. So if you want to know what to do, you go follow the examples of your righteous forefathers. So right. you, want to, you want to be in this spirit. Go ahead. So all the nations that are in the king, under the king's dominion obey him and fall away everyone from his, the religion of their fathers and give consent to his commandments. Verse 20. Yet will I and my sons and my brethren walk in the covenant of our fathers. See that, man? Me and my household, we're going to keep the commandments of the Most High, man. That's right. right. Even unto death, man. Right. Right? Read. Verse 21. God forbid that we should forsake the law and the ordinances. Uh-huh. Verse 22. We will not hearken to the king's word. We will what? We, we will, will not, not hearken, hearken to the king's word. Hey, we're not listening to Biden, man. Right. right. Read. Right. To go from our religion, either on the right hand or the left. Hey, we the Israelites and we keep the commandments. That's we right. We all eat pork. All right? <laughs> we don't celebrate your, high, your holidays. We keep the high holy days. Right? Right. Go ahead. Verse 23. Now when he had left speaking these words, there came one of the Jews in the sight of all. Now watch this. Right after this man boldly stood up for the most high, you had a coon. And we call this, a, this is a coon. So coons are in the Bible. Right. So a coon is not a new thing. All right, go ahead. Came one of the Jews in sight of all, to sacrifice on the altar. In front of everybody. So you got bold coon. Hey, we see it all the time. We out here bringing out the word and a coon come up and take up for the white man. Right. Right? Not knowing what the hell going on. All right, so you had a coon run up right out of the mighty Mattathias, man, and them cooned out in front of the whole congregation. Read. We're going to see what happened to this coon. Which was at Modin, according to the king's commandments. According to the most highest commandments. According to the king's commandments. Read. Verse 24, which thing when Mattathia saw, he was inflamed with zeal. Just like we get mad. We see a damn coon, we get mad. Right. So our fool, and this man is a righteous man that the Lord was dealing with. He was inflamed with zeal when he saw that coon. Read. Right. And his reins trembled. Neither could he forbear to show his anger according to judgment. And he was so, he couldn't even hide if he was so mad, man. Right. Go ahead. Wherefore he ran. And slew him upon the altar. He did what? He, he ran and him slew him upon the altar. He went up there and thrust him through, man. Right. Right in the middle of the act, because you want to sacrifice unto idols and profane. And because what could happen is now you got all Israel watching you, you could cause somebody else to stumble. Right. You might have a brother who kind of, he kind of rolling with you, but he kind of low key scared, but he rolling with his brothers. And then you see a damn coon get up there and damn sacrifice, man, and get exalted like the Jay Z's. Like these celebrities, they promote sin and wickedness, man. And they get rewarded for it, and you see the reward, and you want that. So you start to follow after their ways. You see what I'm saying? So you got these coons got to be cut down, man. Go ahead. Verse 25. Also the king's commissioner, who compelled men to sacrifice. And he didn't just thrust him through. He killed the, the commissioner who came with the madness. So he put him to death, his brother to death, and he put the nation to death that came with that madness, man. Go ahead. He killed at that time, and the altar he pulled down. And he tore down the altar, man. Right. So this man was mad. He didn't do it nicely. All right, go ahead. Verse 26. And they tell me how we teach hate and we mean. They ain't seen us do none of that. Uh, right. We just talking right now. Right. All right, we just prophesying. Read. Thus dealt he zealously for the law of Yahweh. He dealt what? Zealously for the, for the law, law of Yahweh. So we zealous for the law. Y'all all about the law. No, we zealous for the laws of the Most High, man. Right. Right? right? That's righteousness. Somebody going to call Mattathias wicked? Uh, it was he going off? Uh, Read. Like as Phineas did unto Zambri, the son of Salam. Verse 27. And Mattathias cried throughout the city with a loud voice, saying, Whatsoever is zealous of the law. Whosoever. Whosoever, Salakia, is zealous of the law uh -huh. and maintaineth the covenant 
Let him follow me. He said, man, if you want to get down with the most high and you're willing to keep the, the, uh, the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, guess what? Follow me, man. Right. Right? Go ahead. Verse 28. So he and his sons fled into the mountains and left all that they ever had in the they, Hold on. They went back and got their laptop. La ah. Didn't the Lord say, hey, don't be, remember Lot's wife? Don't look back. Wow. Right. See, a lot of you, you're going to try to go back and get your damn baby picture. You're going to be looking back, man. You're going to try to go back and get the, the you just bought the J's. Man, here it is, all hell breaking loose. Damn. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. You still got your work shoes on. Yeah, you might be at work when all hell break loose, man. When Jacob's trouble start. When the military come rushing in, man. You see what I'm saying? Jake, you're going to try to get to the crib and get your wallet. Brother, you don't need your wallet. Ain't no more stores right. open, man. Ain't nothing open. Everything is shut down, man. Right. It's here. It's that time now. Right. Now your faith. Now the Lord going to see where your faith is. Because right, right now it's easy for us to come out here and talk about it. All right. But in that day, are you going to have faith? Right. All right. Go ahead. Verse 29. Then many that sought off their justice and judgment. Hey, and I want you to read that part again. Because this, this is for us because we're coming into that time now. This is the time we're living in now where we're about to see. And brother's going to be faced with these, literally faced with these decisions. Read that part, last part again. So he and his sons fled into the mountains and left all that they ever had. And they what? Left all, all that, that they, they ever had. had. That's why you can't love this world. Right. That's why you, you can't love this world. They left all that they ever had. And, they, and now for far, they had actually had stuff. We ain't really got nothing. Right. This damn apartment. Right, damn duplex. Right. I'm going to be glad to leave and get out of that one. Four, five, and not have to pay no rent. I'm ready for the kingdom, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord said we're going to have mansions with streets made of gold. Man. Right. That's what I want. I'm tired of this damn cement, man. Right. And this ain't nothing, man. Right. All right. Go ahead. Left all they ever had in the city. Then many that sought off their justice and judgment went down into the wilderness to dwell there. Both they and their children and their wives and their cattle because afflictions increased sore upon them. Because why? Guess what? Now they coming after them now. So he made a decision, right? He made a decision that we're going to keep the commandments. He put he put the coon to death and he killed the um, the servants, the commissioner, all right, that the king had sent to them, right? right. He killed them. So now we on the run now. Hey, brothers, you might be in that position, man. Right. Hey, you might have to save your wife, man. Esau might have a damn, you know what I'm saying, a damn knife to your damn daughter's throat, man. Right. Saying, eat this pork. You know what I'm saying? And the damn angel might hop on you, man. You damn flip. You might have to damn cut Esau in half, right? Man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now you're on the run, man. Right. Now they know the last house he was at was Andrew's house. <laughs> now they after Drew. Now he only got to go now. He got to take his family and leave everything behind, man. Right. All right? Go ahead. Verse 31. Now... When it was told the king's servants and the host that was at Jerusalem in the city of David that certain men who had broken the king's commandment were gone down into the secret places in the wilderness. Go ahead. Verse 32. Then they pursued after them a great number, and having overtaken them, they camped against them, and they made war against them on the Sabbath day. Now we at war. You see what I'm saying? They're they going to make war against the saints. You read about that in Revelations, man. This happened before. That's why the precepts are important, man. These precepts are going to come in your mind, and they're going to quicken your spirit in that day. Right. You're going to remember the Maccabees in that day. Go ahead. Verse 33. And they said unto them, Let that which ye have done hitherto suffice. Come forth and do according to the commandment of the king. They try to make a deal with them. They say, look, man, they after y'all, man. If y'all come and do what the king said, and they giving them another chance to break those commandments. Look, just come on and just do what the king said to save your life, man. Wow. A lot of them going, that's going to happen to you. All right, Brother Dre, the first time, he's going to be mighty. He's going to say, the hell with you, Esau. I'm going to keep the commandments. Right. Esau going to come again. Uh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. He goes, ah, well, he just want me to eat a strip of bacon. Surely the Lord won't want me to die for a strip of bacon. A bacon bit. Yeah, a bacon <laughs> bit. You know, you're looking at your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what if Abraham would have did that? What if Abraham, when he was taking Isaac to deliver Isaac up, like the Lord, what if, what if Abraham would have said, well, the Lord really don't want me to do this? And, and not did it, man. 
the Lord, that's why you got to read these accounts, because the Lord is going to deliver you, man. The Lord wasn't going to let Abraham kill Isaac, man. Sacrifice him on the damn altar, man. He's just seeing if you what you're willing to do, man. He's trying you. So you got to know that the Lord is trying me. Right? right? I know I could get all the way to the point of death, the Lord can save me. Right? Right? Or the Lord can have me be put to death, I die a righteous death, and he bring me back and put a crown on my head. Because don't we believe in the resurrection? That's right. We believe in the resurrection, man. Right? Go ahead. Come forth and do according to the commandment of the king, and ye shall live. He said, then you're going to live. No, the Lord, give me Proverbs 7 and 2. That's why you got to study the Bible and know the precepts. That's why the Lord said, through thy precepts, I get understanding. Because then you got the damn white man saying, look, go ahead and eat this pork and then you're going to live. If you don't, I'm going to kill you. Give me, Matthew, give me that in Matthew 10 and 28, I believe. Go ahead. It's Proverbs chapter 7, verse 2. Bring it out. Keep my commandments and live. No, listen to the white man and live. Keep my commandments and live. No, eat the pork, Daryl. Keep, keep my, my commandments, commandments and live. And our Lord said, keep the commandments and live. Right. So you got to remember Proverbs 72 in that moment. If you don't have that precept, you will mess around and eat the... Remember, the scriptures are spirit. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. Right? They are truth. All right, read that. Book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. Bring it out. And fear not them which kill the body. What the Lord say? And fear not them which kill the body. The Lord said, fear not them that kill the body. They got their guns drawn on you. The Lord said, don't fear them. Right. Don't fear them. Go ahead. But are not able to kill the soul. And they can't, they can't kill us. We the Israelites. Right. 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 All right. We, we never going to be destroyed, man. That's right. All right, they make you kill Brother Victor Flesh. You know, we bury the brother. But guess what? We know the brother's coming back, man. That's right. That's right. All right? And when he come back, he's going to be better off than he was the first time. Ah, that's right. All right, read. But rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Hey, you better fear the most high. The most high can delete you. Right. The white man can't do that. He can kill you as a witness against him, right? But the most high can destroy your body and your spirit, man. The Lord can literally push undo on the damn computer. Right. Then get up, up there, he got the big, right. big screen. He say, you know what? You know what I'm saying? Brother Matthew, I'm going to delete him, man. <laughs> You'll right. say, it's the... imagine that, man. Read that. Con, the book of 1 Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 33. And they said unto him, let that which ye have done hitherto, hitherto suffice. Come forth and do according to the commandment of the king, and ye shall live. Verse 34. But they said, we will not come forth, neither will we do the king's commandments. And we're not doing it. No, we're not coming forth, and we're not going to do the king's commandments. Go ahead. To profane the Sabbath day. To what? To profane the Sabbath Here day. Here they is, they life on the line, and they don't want to break the Sabbath. Jake, you breaking the Sabbath day on purpose, man, for no damn reason. Right. Because you're hungry. Right. Right? Because you want to watch a movie. Because you feel like going to play basketball. Right? Because you just, you want to have sex with your wife and you just can't wait till the sun go down. Right? right? You got people breaking the, sab the Sabbath day willfully, but yet your forefathers was willing to die than to break the Sabbath day. Right. Imagine that. How is the Lord looking at you? The Lord accounted these men righteous. How is he looking at you? The Lord can't use you in his army. You are unfit for the kingdom. Right? Right. Go ahead. Verse 35. So they gave them the battle with all speed. Howbeit, they answered them not. Neither cast they a stone at them, nor stopped the places where they lay hid. Verse 37. But said, let us die all in our innocency. What the Lord I mean, what the brothers say? Let, let us die all, all in our innocency. Hey, let, and they, these are the men that they, they, they say you crazy, man. Right. Let us die all, man. Because we innocent. We didn't break no commandment. If you're going to kill me, all right, unjustly, go ahead. And that's a beautiful death, man. Give me that. Psalms 115, 16. Go ahead. Heaven and earth shall testify for us. What the Lord say? Heaven and earth shall testify for us. What does that mean, heaven and earth shall testify for us? What are they talking about? The angels. All right. Go ahead. And you got angels on the earth? You got angels on the heavens, man. It's angels out here right now. But you can't see, man. All right. You got angels on the, uh, above the firmament, above the, the uh, firmament with the most high. You got the Jacob's ladder in the east 
where the angels go to and fro. You got Raphael that come and take your prayers and present it before the Most High. All right, all the angels see everything. You got an Victor got an individual angel. All right, that record everything he do. All right, that's your witness, man. Go ahead. That ye put us to death wrongfully. That ye what? That ye, ye put, put us, us to death, death wrongfully. That ye put us to death wrong. These are men that trust in the Most High, man. Go ahead. Verse thirty-eight. So they rose up against them in battle on the Sabbath, and they slew them with their wives and children and their cattle to the number of a thousand people. Go ahead. Verse 39. Now when Mattathias and his friends understood hereof, they mourned for them right sore. And, and look, that's a righteous debt, man. That's beautiful, man. Read that. Book of Psalms, chapter 116 and verse 15. Bring it out. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. That's in the Bible. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, man. Right. That's a beautiful thing, to die righteously, man, and not to die a nigga in America. Right. Right? Go ahead. Verse 40. And one of them said to another, If we all do as I bro our brethren have done, and fight not for our lives, Salakia, and fight not for our lives, and laws against the heathen. For our lives and what? Against the heathen. The, for our lives and, and the laws and, against the heathen. And laws against the heathen. Remember, the heathen's plot against you is to keep you from keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's right. what America, that's what America's set up on. Right. Don't get it twisted. It's about the so-called black, Latino, and American. That's this whole system is about you. Right. All right? It's set up for you to be in sin. Because that's the only way they can reign over you. Right. If we repent and keep the commandments, the Lord going to destroy them. They right. understand that. Go ahead. They will now quickly root us out of the earth. So you have one, which is understandable. You see a thousand of your people with their children and their wives get put to death. Now you might get be shooken. Right. Like, damn, if we, you know what I'm saying? Right. They going to kill all of us. All right, go ahead. Verse 41. At that time, therefore, they decreed, saying, Whosoever shall come to make battle with us on the Sabbath day, we will fight against him. We will do what? We will, we will fight, fight against, against him. No, we're going to tell him it's the Sabbath day. We're going to chill. We, we will, will fight, fight against, against him. He said, man, if they run up, we're going to fight, man. Right. It's going to have to go down, man. All right. all right, go ahead. Neither will we die all as our brethren. He said they're not going to kill all of us like they, like they did them, man. Right. Go ahead. That were murdered in secret places. Read. Then came there unto him a company of Assyrians. And, and so like, I got to make this point. Remember, these men had fled. They was in secret places. So you might be, think you're in a secret place, and then Esau come, come in with the damn military cam, kick in and find your ass. Right. Somebody done deliver you up. Didn't Yahweh shall tell us your family members going to sell you out? Right. So somebody right. close to you might know where you at, and they done sold you out. Maybe a brother was friends with them. Right? Now they know. Now they come see you. Right? When you safe, you might be mighty in the spirit, but when they pull up, are you going to be like those men? Are you going to be willing to die? So he said they died in that same secret place. Right. Righteously. Go ahead. Verse 42. Then came there unto him a company of Assyrians who were mighty men of Israel. Who were what? Who mighty were men, men of Israel. Israel. So these Assyrians were Israelites. Right. All right, that live without. Go ahead. Even all such were voluntary, devoted unto the law. Uh-huh. Also, all they that fled for, for persecution. So you had so you had Israelites that heard about this and came to their brother. They weren't necessarily in there. They could have stayed where they was at. Right. So you have some brothers, man. They hear their brothers like like Levi, man. These are Levites. They come on the scene like, what what it do, man? What's right. going down? You feel me? Right. Go ahead. Also, all they that fled for persecution joined themselves unto them. They say, let's let we coming together, man. Read. And were a stay unto them. Uh huh. So they joined their forces and smote sinful men in their anger and wicked men in their wrath. But the rest fled the heathen for succor. Go ahead. Verse 45. Then Mattathias and his friends went round about and pulled down the altars. Uh huh. And what children soever they found within the coast of Israel uncircumcised. Those they circumcised valiantly. So they come to that. They set order now, man. Right. And the children that wasn't circumcised, now they circumcising them, man. And they coming in and setting the order, man. They pulling out the altars and the idols down, man. They 
was coming in there, man, causing havoc, man, wreaking right. havoc. Go And now the wicked and the sinful, man, they put them to death. So all the cool, the Lord going to cut out a lot of people that don't want to keep the commandment. A lot of these people that's dying, getting shot up, the Lord does judgment. Right. The Lord killing these, these rappers that's promoting witchcraft. Right. Hey, the Lord killing these niggas, man. Right. Hey, we're not crying for young Dolph, man. Right. We're not crying for these dudes. That right. promote, we trying to teach our people to keep the commandments and be righteous, and here they are. Being the, these, these men are literally idols. Right. These back in that day, they used to make idols. Uh -huh. But now in this society, the so-called white man make idols, like uh -huh. Jay-Z. Right. Like, right? Beyonce. Right. The, the white man set them up as idols. American idols. Michael Jordan. Uh -huh. They say, hey, my idol is Michael, my idol is Allen Iverson. So you literally have made these men out of our people worship and bow down to these people. They got the shoes. They got the damn, uh, what they call it? Uh, yeah, the big po life size, fat, fat head. head. Right. <laughs> got a big ass fat head of damn Michael Vick, man. And you was looking at Michael Vick every night. Oh, I want to be like Mike. You know what I'm saying? That's wicked, man. Right. You ain't saying no prayers. You didn't thank the most high for waking you up this morning. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 47. They pursued also after the proud men, and the work prospered in their hand. So they recovered the law out of the hand of the Gentiles and out of the hand of kings. Right. Neither suffered they the sinner to triumph. Verse 49. Now when the time drew near that Mattathias should die, he said unto his sons, Now hath pride and rebuke gotten strength mm -hmm. and the time of destruction and the wrath of indignation. Verse 50. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law. Do what? Be ye zealous for the law. What did he tell his sons? Be ye zealous for the law. He say, be zealous for the law, statutes and commandments, man. Right. All right. Read. And give your lives for the covenant of your father. And do what? And, and give, give your, your lives for the covenant of your father. Now get down with their system, man. And give your lives for the covenant of your father. Hey, be willing. He's telling his sons this, man. On his deathbed. Be willing to give your life, man, for the covenant of your fathers, man. Right. All right, go ahead. Verse 51. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time, so shall ye receive great honor and an everlasting name. And a what? And an everlasting name. And an everlasting name, man. That's why you go, how do you remember? We got to go read these accounts. Go read about Abraham. Go read about Daniel, man. Go read about how the Lord delivered all these men out of these things. Go read about the promises, man. Go read about your shall being put to death, man. Go read about the Apostle Paul, man. John, James, right? All the apostles died horrible deaths, man. Those are, hey, some brothers' lot may be that. Hey, some brother, Brother Dre might go through Jacob's trouble. It might not be tough. He might eat the whole time. And the Lord says some of us going to be rejoicing. Right. That's a beautiful thing. That'll right. be nice. Right. That'll be nice, man. Right. All right. All praise to the most high. All praise. You feel me? All right. So give me um, Deuteronomy 37, give me Revelation 18, 21. Hmm? We're going to close it out, man. Deuteronomy 37, Revelation 18, 21. 37. Bring it out. No, no, you got it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30 and verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. We'll do what? We'll put all these curses upon, upon thine, thine enemies. enemies. And this is, this, another, this is a secret. All right, so this is a little jewel, man. Right. This is something that we know that the world don't know. The Lord gonna put these curses on our enemies. We right. got next, man. We got next, man. All right, to rule, and they got next to be a slave, man. Right. All right. The Lord is gonna put all these. This ain't happened yet. All right. Now they gotta go through the curses. Read. Right. And on them that hate thee, uh huh, which persecuted thee, uh huh. Verse eight. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of Yahweh. What are we going to do? Return and obey, obey the, the voice, voice of Yahweh. We're going to return. Return means what? Repent. We're going to repent and we're going to keep these commandments. Right. All right? And we're not going to follow the damn crowd, man. Right. right. All right? The Lord said, follow not a multitude to do evil. Right. Read. And do all his commandments. And just some of them. All do all his commandments. And do all his commandments. Go ahead. Which I command thee. This day. Which the Lord command us this day. Read that, King. Book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 21. Bring it and out. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence. What the Lord say? Thus with violence. What God say? Thus with violence. Thus with peace. Thus with violence. Thus with hugs. Thus with violence. Thus with kisses. Thus with violence. Hey, the Lord said, Thus with violence. The Lord is a violent man, man. Right. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is not nice. The Lord is not coming to get us out of here nicely and quietly, man. Right. Right, he's not coming in tiptoeing in, 
all right? And he's going to just grab us up and put us in the kingdom. No, man, it's going to be war, man. That's right. Didn't they make war, man? How many wars did the white man have to set up America, man? Right. Right, a revolutionary war, French and Indian war. How many wars this man has had, man? Yeah, man. All right, so the Lord is coming to make war, man. That's why the Lord said he's going to have many crowns on his head. He's coming to take down these kingdoms, man. Right. The seven heads and the ten horns, man. Right. He's coming to take them down, man. So the Lord is coming with great violence. Go ahead. Shout that great city Babylon. Shout what? Shout that great, great city Babylon. Shout America. America is Babylon, read. Be thrown down. What's going to happen to America? Be thrown down. She's going to be thrown down, read. And shall be found no more at all. What's the Lord say? And shall be found no more at all. No, she's going to rise again. And shall be found no more at all. And she shall be found no more at all. And with that, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Kwame Asherala! Kwame Asherala! Kwame Asherala! Death to America! 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 Show me the way, show me the way. Lord, show me. Show me the way, show me the way. Show me the way, show me the way. Show me, show me.